Hi everyone, Stuart here. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to guide you through the easy process of backing up your WordPress website from cPanel. Backing up your website is important for business owners to do at least once a month or before they make changes, updates or add content to their website. It's also important for security and peace of mind. Before we get started and if you're interested in digital solutions for small business, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, tap the bell icon, that way you'll be notified when we upload new content. All right, let's head over to our computer and let's show you how to back up your website in cPanel. Now, there are two simple ways to log into your cPanel account. Either head over to your website URL and type in forward slash cPanel at the end of your URL and hit enter. Now, this will take you to your login screen of your cPanel. The next method is to head over to your hosting account. Now my hosting account is with hostpapa.com and there you want to log in with your credentials. Then locate your cPanel on your hosting dashboard. Welcome to the back end of your cPanel account. Now today we only want to focus on backing up your WordPress website. Now all you need to know and understand is the file manager which is located here, the backup, and the backup wizard located to the right of the backup. Now, if you click on File Manager, this will take you to your server database. From here, you can locate and delete old backups. Now, maybe you've already downloaded an older backup onto your computer, or here you can see an older backup that you want to delete to make more room for your new backup. You can do this process here. If we head back over to our cPanel and click backups, this is where you'll find your full backups and where you can download them to your computer. All you need to do is click download a full account backup. Here I have one full backup as you can see. Now this is where you can download a full backup to your computer. All you need to do is click to download. Don't worry about generating a full backup, leave this to your hosting provider. They will restore the backup for you or guide you through the process if you ever need to restore a saved backup. Now head back over to your cPanel dashboard. You can click back or you can click the icon up above. Yours might say cPanel, mine's got a logo because I changed it in settings. And then what you want to do is click backup wizard, click on backup and then full backup. You also have the option to select partial backup. However, because this is a beginner's tutorial, we want to just focus on backing up everything. So click on full backup. Next, select home directory, which will save the backup to your server. And click either email or do not send email notification of backup. This is completely up to you. Then click generate backup. Now you will be notified via email when the backup has been completed if you chose to be notified via email. If you did not choose this option, then head back over to your cPanel dashboard and click on backup and then click on download a full account backup. And here you will see your new backup. However, you will notice that if you hover over the new backup and it says not complete, then you might have to give it about five to 10 minutes depending on the size of your website. Once it says complete when you hover over your new backup, then you can click and download the new backup. And it's as simple as that to download a new backup from your server onto your computer. It's important to note that you wanna take a backup at least once per month or before you make changes to your website. For example, updating plugins adding content or making any kind of change to your website. That way you will have a backup just in case your website comes across any issues. Now if this happens and you do stumble across any issues or your site breaks or something's not functioning properly, then you'll have a secured backup on your server or downloaded to your computer like we showed you. And if anything goes wrong, all you need to do is ask your hosting provider to restore the last backup for you. There you have it, you now know how to back up your WordPress website from cPanel. Now keep this in mind before making any changes to your website. Thank you for watching. If you got value from this video, you found it useful, then please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.